tomorrow will be the last day, not of mine, <laughs> but of the gateless gate. The gate is there, your discipline is there, then you don't need a gate, hence it is called the gateless gate. That is, a, today is the 48th and tomorrow 49th story ends. <laughs> Buddha traveled non-stop for 40 years preaching. The only one time he did not travel was during the rainy month. It seems. And all the Buddhist monks and the Jaina monks, they don't travel during the rainy month. And our, one of our senior teacher, Mahadeva Swami, ex-senior teacher, passed away. And I was wanting to go to that place and it was very rainy. It is around 200 kilometers from here called Kollegal. Kollegal <laughs> is near the forest, right inside the forest. So morning around 10.30 we decided uh, with Padma to drive down, just not to reach that place. But our idea was okay, on a Sunday let us have a small long drive for three hours. In case we reach in three hours, we'll go meet them. So we drove. <laughs> rains were there. And after some day, again, no rains were there. I was thinking, this rainy season is not good to travel. With Buddhist monks and Jaina monks do not travel. But then we took a bet and we traveled. The road was so beautiful. And it was mind-boggling, heavily abode was Kollegal, very near to Mysore, Kollegal. What a beauty! The mountains, the rocks, the greeneries, the rivers, my God! It was worth the drive. We left at 10.20, we came back at 8.30, around 10 hours, non-stop drive. In between, we coming back, we stopped 5.30 uh, near Madhur to have a small bite. Otherwise, on the road, there was, people were selling a lot of sugar juice. <laughs> The first step to take was very important, whether we wanted to go or not. But when we went, it just completed and we came back. <laughs> yes, and morning I'm over here. Trying to tell you tomorrow is the last day of the gateless gate. Watch, listen. One road of Kembo, the 48th story from the gateless gate from the book Zen Flesh, Zen Bones, written by Paul Reps. A Zen pupil asked Kembo, all Buddhas of the ten parts of the universe enter the one road of one road of Nirvana. Where does that road begin? <laughs> Where to begin? They said one step leads to ten thousand steps. You don't need even Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday to start anything. It is an embrace, like how Jiddu Krishnamurti said. When one loses a deep intimate relationship with nature, then temples, much churches becomes very important. Then the bookish knowledge becomes very important. Then somebody else talks becomes very important. Then you have to go to the priest to non-stop throw the money and the priest takes you for a ride. One boy came and told me, I go to the priest because he always predicts and it came truthful. When I was in the school, I had a bicycle. He told me I will have a bicycle. When I entered the college, I got a motorbike. Now I am working in an IT company. I got a car. Stupidity. <laughs> and he predicts it. <laughs> and you go after him. When you fall in love with your culture, with your samskriti and become conscious on your every step, then there is no need of the step, which step to take to nirvana for enlightenment, for seeing the truth, feeling the truth, feel, smell, taste, touch and see the truth. And there lies the complete beauty of Krishna, Buddha, Allah, Jesus Christ, what do we call it?